Well, I started in the drug game kind of early, in the early 60s, was selling what they call yellow jackets, red devils, and 25 cents for the yellow jackets, 50 cents for the red devils. I needed money. I like nice clothes, pretty women. They paid you, what, a dollar fifty-five an hour. And the only other way I knew to earn that type of money was in narcotics. It was like you go down to Saigon, Thompson, Newt Alley, G.I. G.I. Soul Brother come down here and they put various types of product in front of you. And when I got to Fort Knox, Kentucky, I ran into some friends that I knew from New York. And they told me the amount of money that I could make by bringing drugs back to Fort Knox, Kentucky. But I was going out to the employment agency and it was like baby killer and, you know, here, the only job you're going to get, wash these dishes. You know, a lot of disrespect. And I wasn't having that. I grew up on 102nd Street. You know, I went to the corner of 111th Street and 7th Avenue, bought $65 worth of dope, brought it back downtown, bagged it up into $2 bags. When I came from the service, that's all I heard. Nikki this, Nikki that, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I didn't really get an understanding about Frank until I rose in this lifestyle. He was getting a lot of money on 118th Street. Loved to gamble. You know, he'd bring half a million dollars to a crap game. You know, lose it. Tell somebody, yo, bring me another 200,000 from over here. And they gamble all night, fast track, piggyback, wherever. I would see Frank Matthews um, when he would come to some of the bars. Certain crews ran out of certain places. But that didn't limit anybody of statue from meeting somebody somewhere else. So any night of the week, everybody got, has on their jewelry, their furs, or summertime, their diamonds, their cars. They come up, they look and hang out. The women on any given night, Frank Matthews, Nikki Barnes, Pee Wee Kirkland, uh, show business, like Hollywood, you know, all the players. There was no competition. The market was unlimited. Things that go on in this game now where th this one is knocking this one because you on my block. and this. Listen, we supported each other. They'd come from Staten Island, New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut. 65% of the people who would come to cop off the streets came from the white community. You'd go there for breakfast after the bars and look for what lady you wanted to take to the motel or take home. You know, because all the cuties would be there, all the players would ride through. And those are all in Harlem. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Harlem knight. You know, to me, Brooklyn was the frontier. You know, I didn't go out there unless I had business to take care of. On 111th Street, the first time I saw him, he was just like a little a country boy to me. Plaid shirt, I think it was, a little... You drop a lot of money in those spots because you're sniffing cocaine and you're being fly. You buying this lady champagne and this cruel lady champagne and your friend. A river of money is flowing because business is so good. Everybody knows everybody. You're turning your money like you're supposed to, or you're paying cash for what you're doing. You have, you know, you have a good life. You know, I think the mob is overrated in this area, and I knew some heavyweights in the mob, did time with them, saw them on the streets, did business with them. I know of deals that were put together that they couldn't even come up with the money that they were supposed to come up with to handle this. They controlled the docks and stuff like that, so they had ends and they were always pinching pennies, what I call it, you know? But then there came a time when they weren't needed. A friend of mine, he came to see a gentleman who I was working for at the time. He gave him $40,000 and was supposed to meet us at a certain time to pick up his product. Now he's just throwing us a bone, you know, looking out for us young, you know, you're hustling here, take this money, I'll get a little pie from y'all. He forgot all about it. Gave us $40,000, didn't come to the meet. Maybe four months later, my, my man told him, yo, come get that money uh, later on. He told him, keep it. 
this business brings out the best in some people and it brings out the worst in some people. This is a story that I know to be true, you know, because I was there when the gentleman asked him and reminded him. He had given a million dollars to a friend to hold and disappeared again. So when the gentleman sees him again, he says, Frank, when you gonna come get that money? And Frank goes, what money? He says, yo, man, you remember you gave me the shopping bag, those shopping bags, that money? He said, I'll come get it in a week or so. So how much money does he have? Yeah, I heard some ridiculous stories. Um, that he was out there losing his money to the casinos as a way to launder it through the mob. And there'll be parties after certain fights, like Sugar Ray Leonard fight, or Ali fight, you maybe Don Cornelius, or um, I think he's living somewhere very well, you know, enjoying himself. So Frank is very smart, so for, uh, for him to put together something where he could stay out of reach of the authorities is very possible. And then if somebody came to me and said that they actually saw him, I would look at him like he was crazy. Why are you running your mouth? Because if you told me, you told somebody else. You have 20 million, 15 million, 30 million dollars cash. You're gonna enjoy a very nice lifestyle wherever you go. Why, why would the mafia want to kill him? He never became an informant like some other big name people we know to save their own skin. And Paul Castellano became an informant against him when he allowed the FBI to spy on him from his house. That's a known fact. He allowed the feds to go in his house and set up cameras to spy on Frank. My bills, I was indicted for heroin, cocaine, you know, different things at different times. Some cases I beat. You know, it's always high echelon hustlers sitting down and figuring out how they can combine their money and their resources so it benefits 